Hey homo sapiens, it's me Rogue Marby Scott. Welcome back to the channel and yeah, it's kind of been maybe a couple of weeks or so since I last did a video. Anyway, so this is my interpretation of a sugar skull steampunk look. Um, I, I did a sketch for it like I don't even know how long ago but um yeah so here's the sketch and if the resolution isn't good I'll just put one there um so yeah using Snazzy Fame's paints and also I was using some eyeshadows so if you want to know how I got this look stay tuned and thumbs up the video. So as you can already see I've done my forehead and I've sketched out also my eye sockets and I've also lined my eyes with some black eyeliner. Now I'm going in with some gold snazzaroo face paints and I'm going to apply that everywhere on my face and ears and neck area. Now clearly you can see I've got a goatee, a beard, and I don't usually have one on this channel. I don't usually have one in life. So doing this whole face painting experience was new to me because I've never done face paints or any sort of makeup on my channel with a beard. So yeah, this is new to me. Um, I'm going to continue doing this and I'm going to use a brush later on just to go around the edges of my um, skull cap. No, I don't have a skull cup on. I have meant forehead. So with the application of this Nazaru Gold face paint, I am dabbing and not swiping, brushing or whatever. I'm dabbing mostly. Now to create the first panel on my face, I'm using black Snazzaroo face paints and I'm going down very slowly and steadily down my face, down the middle of my face and I'm going to blend that out to one side and then I'm going to continue to make a second panel or three other panels. Well, there's going to be three panels on my face basically. Now creating the second line to create the two um, panels on one side of my face, my left side of my face, I'm going to do as I did on my middle of my face and you know blend those edges out and make it look a bit more dimensional or whatnot. So what is your addiction to me? What is your addiction to me? Now it's time to do my eye sockets to create that skull look or voodoo look or whatever kind of look you seem to think it is but this is my interpretation of a Mexican sugar skull steampunk look. Now I'm going in with some blue eyeshadow and I'm going to go down that line and the perimeter of that side of the face. Um, making sure that it blends out nicely and I'm also going to use a darker shade of blue um, on that side too. I'm using a shimmery eyeshadow, not a matte eyeshadow, so yeah, just to create that whole metallic look. By all means, use whatever colour you want. This is an interpretation and you can interpret this look any way you like. So just to give you some time lapse measure of how long it's taken me to do this, I created this look, the sketch, on the 13th of March. We're now borderline June. I'm making sure that all of these lines are blended out really well with one of my um, face paint brushes. I'm not using a makeup brush just for the fact that it just doesn't need to be a makeup brush. Now as you can see I'm going in with some pink and I'm going to go over that with a lighter pink also. So I'm using my darker pink first 
and then I'm going to go over that with um, a lighter pink and then I'm going to blend that practically mostly to the hot, the centre of the face, of, well, of the panel. Now here I'm going in with a brown shimmery eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in with a darker brown eyeshadow as well just to give it a bit more pop. But like I said, I'm not going to um, tell you what um, eyeshadows that I'm using or whatever. Just for the fact that this is down to your interpretation. So if you're gonna do this look, interpret it how you want to interpret it. Just give me a, a heads up, <laughs> you know, share, subscribe, or like and comment down below if you like this look and you like what I'm doing right now. Um, I, I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually do this look, but yeah. Obviously I've got to go on the years to make those look a little bit more metallic. <laughs> Now going in with some black face paints, I'm just creating that nose cavity bit and I'm gonna go in with some grey snazzery face paints to create the holes or nostrils or whatever they're called if they're bones because they're not actually skin but whatever. Now using a silver snazzery face paint, I'm creating one cog on my forehead in that space and I'm gonna also create um, three more on that side as teardrops. I just love tears. I think everyone should cry blood or cogs or I don't know, poison. I don't know. Everyone should just cry. It's good to cry. Crying is just a way of release. Moving on to my lips, I'm using the pink Snazaru face paint and I'm also going to blend that in with some white in the middle of the lips. As you can see, my lips are very dark so I've got to apply this on very heavily. So I'm going to come off camera real quick just to do some detailing because detailing sometimes is a bother and I hate that. I'm going in on my um, edges just with some black snazzery face paints just because I just wanted this whole look to look a little bit more sharp than usual I don't want the whole hairline to look realistic I just wanted it to look more like robot built in with sort of panels you know what I mean I don't want it to look messy I want it to look a bit sharp sharp now I'm creating more bolts on my neck just so that it looks as if that I've been stapled on and this is the final look. Hope you like. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment down below.